Howdy Cowboys and welcome to a new review. Today we got the Rocket Tyon Gaming Mouse. This video will not only be about reviews of the mouse but also a tutorial for how to use it in racing games and how to use the software the right way. First off, let's talk about the specs of the Rocket Tyon mouse. Its sensor is an 8200 Pro AIM laser sensor R3 which already was used in the Rocket Cone XTD which I had before. The sensor gives you perfect control in every video game and is very accurate and with its tracking control unit or short TCU it is possible to scan the surface under your mouse before you use it to give it the perfect tracking of your mouse pad. Let's go to the 14 buttons that are easy to assign and almost all easy to access. First off, we got 4 buttons in the front, 2 on each side next to the left click and right click buttons. Next, we got the mouse wheel which is probably the best mouse wheel I have ever scrolled. It is solid but not too heavy to scroll it easily. With its 16.8 million RGB colors, you can change it to whatever you want. When we move a little bit further to the top of the mouse, we can see the shark fin, which I think is pretty hard to use, since you have to lift off your index finger to use it. But for multimedia shortcuts, it is a perfect button, which is left and right clickable. Now we come to the probably most interesting button I think is on this mouse, the analog stick. It is pretty hard to assign in games, since not every game does accept controller and mouse keyboard at the same time, but I was able to manage the software and I will show you how to use it right. Okay, now we are in the software screen of the Rocket Tyon Black Mouse. First, we go to the Advanced Control tab so we can calibrate the accelerator. After that, we go to the Button Assignment Index tab. On the left, we can see now two new tabs. One is called Top Buttons and the other is called Side Buttons. We go to the Side Buttons tab. In the side buttons tab we chose the accelerator and assign the D put Y axis up and down buttons. Probably this was already said when you first installed the software but I changed so much around that I forgot what the standard was. After we are done with that we go into our game. For now I chose Dirt Rally and American Truck Simulator since these are the games where I found the option to use the analog stick and the keyboard at the same time. Now we go into our options tab as and assign the buttons for whatever we wanted. Before you probably saw that we have another side buttons tab in the software on the right where we can see the buttons and assign them again. That is the easy shift function. The standard easy shift position is the thumb button on the bottom of the mouse. But I thought that it is a bad position for the easy shift button so I switched it with the number 4 button on my mouse. But still I do not think that it is easy to click the easy shift button and at the same time using the analog stick since the thumb is already on use of the easy shift button. And since you cannot assign any other button on the right with the easy shift buttons, 
You will have a hard time to use it. Please Rocket, fix something. Okay, now that we have the most important buttons shown, we can go to the lighting of the mouse. As I said before, you can give the mouse wheel 16.8 million different colors, but that is not the only light source on the mouse. On the sides of the tie-on, you got another light strip that goes around the whole mouse. This light source can be assigned with another color, so you can use two different colors on one mouse. So mouse-wise, there's not much else to say. In the software you got another tab called the main control tab where you can change the DPI of the mouse with five different profiles and the scroll speed. In the advanced tab you also can activate the sound feedback which tells you if you changed your DPI and lowered or raised your volume. In the color control tab you can, as the tab already says, control your colors of the mouse and enable some light effects like blinking or heartbeat and a color flow which I think looks much nicer on my Kone XCD, but I cannot show you that because the front LEDs on my Kone died. Then we got a RAD tab or RAD, which means Rocket Achievements Display. In this tab you can see how much clicks you made with the most important buttons and share your trophies directly online. Okay, I think that's it with the review of the mouse. I think it is a pretty amazing mouse with a lot of extra buttons which are pretty useful. The analog stick is a nice to have feature but in the end not really usable for me since I got a controller and the most games don't recognize the accelerator anyway. But the ergonomic of the mouse is just amazing and it feels really good. And one tip, disconnect the mouse when you want to play Dark Souls because it does not work. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I hope I see you in my next one. Until then, bye!